Hey, 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 my name is Tammy and in today's AccuQuilt translation video, I'll be doing yet another block from Maggie Malone's 5500 quilt block designs. Want to see which block I chose for this episode? Stay tuned. So the block I'll be translating in this video is number 61 and it is called the Addict Window Block. As you can see here, it looks like Maggie Malone used two larger half square triangles, this shape here, two smaller half square triangles and a square. However, when I convert this over to the AccuQuilt dies from the mix and match set, this larger, these larger half square triangles are not included. So part of my translation process will be to take this these two larger half square triangles and break them down into, as you can see here, if I draw a line there, that would be a half square triangle. And if I draw a line across there, that'll be a half square triangle. And this will be a regular square. So let me show you which dies I'll be using as well as the fabric I selected. Stay tuned. So the dies I'll be using are die number one, which is a basic square. And I will be using die number three, which is the half square triangle die. I've pretty much selected the same colors that Maggie Malone used in her block. And that is a white for that center square. I've selected my version of a yellow or gold. And I have a burnt orange and a dark brown. I am going to cut out all of the pieces that will be used to make this attic window block. And I will show you what that looks like cut out. Stay tuned. Here are all the elements for the attic window block cut out. We have two of the orange or burnt oranges here, the squares, and I use die number one to cut that out and two of the half square triangles. And remember those two larger half square triangles that I was saying that I have to break down into components in order to uh, cut out because I'm using my AccuQuilt dies. Well, I have two of the squares, which are die number one, and I have four half square triangles, which I use die number three to cut out. And then these are just the brown center pieces and the white square. So what I'm going to do next is piece together all of these elements so that I can put them in the arrangements of the units. And then I'll show you what those units look like. Stay tuned. Okay, my quilty friend, I have sewn together all of the half square triangles and I've arranged all nine units into the configuration in which they will be sewn. So remember how on the original block, there were those two large half square triangles that were yellow. Well, here they are. They have been translated. Again, these are two half square triangles and that square. So when I piece this together, this will look like one large half square triangle. And the same thing here, um, these two smaller ones in the square, once it's sewn together, it'll look like one large half square triangle. And then we have those center brown pieces, the white square and the rest of the burnt orange. So stay tuned. I will show you what the whole block looks like once it's sewn together. I am so excited about how the block turned out. I want to show you what the original block looks like. So here is the attic window and we have those two large half square triangles there on either corner. And let me show you what my finished block looks like. Ta-da! Here it is. Here is the finished translated block using my AccuQuilt dies number one, which is a square, and die number three, which is the half square triangles. You can see here, here's that larger half square triangle. Here are those burnt orange pieces, the brown, and last but not least, that white center square. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until the next video, stay well and keep on quilting. I'll see you then.